Hi, welcome to the podcast for when the curves line up for December 20th, 2023. Please see the article that includes diagrams of today's events on the website at whenthecurveslineup.com. Text by Jeffrey L. Hunt. In Chicago, sunrise occurs at 7.14 a.m. Central Standard Time followed by sunset at 4.22 p.m. Here is today's planet forecast. In the morning sky. That bright star in the southeast before sunrise is Venus. The morning star is over 20 degrees above the horizon at one hour before daybreak. It steps eastward in front of Libra, 3.8 degrees to the lower left of Zubinel Genubi, and 6.4 degrees to the lower right of Zubina Shamali, Libra's brightest stars. Tomorrow, the planet passes the second star in a wide conjunction. Through a telescope, Venus displays a morning gibbous phase that is 74% illuminated. Chuba, the scorpion's head, is nearly 10 degrees above the horizon and nearly 15 degrees to the lower left of Venus, and 3.0 degrees to the lower right of Graphias, meaning the crab. Mars continues its slow climb into the eastern pre-dawn sky. The planet rises 40 minutes before the sun, not yet early enough to easily see it. In the evening sky. Mercury reaches inferior conjunction between Earth and Sun in two days. Still east of the Sun, it sets 25 minutes after the Sun. The planet is at perihelion today, moving fastest through its orbital path. It quickly overtakes our planet and moves into the southeastern sky before sunrise during mid-January. As darkness falls, the bright gibbous moon, 64% illuminated, is over halfway up in the south-southeast sky and over 20 degrees to the right of bright Jupiter. Jupiter is nearing the end of its retrograde against Aries distant stars. Tonight, the planet is 11.4 degrees to the lower right of Hamel, the ram's brightest star, and 14.4 degrees to the upper right of Menkar, part of Cetus. The planet does not fit into a binocular field of view with either star. An optical assist may be necessary to see the two stars in this moonlight. Saturn, not as bright as Jupiter, is over 30 degrees above the south-southwest horizon and over 40 degrees to the lower right of the moon. The ringed wonder is over 20 degrees to the upper left of Fomalot. During the night, the stars, moon, and planets appear farther westward. Saturn sets in the west-southwest about five hours after sundown. At 9.59 p.m. CST, Jupiter's great red spot is visible through a telescope at the center of the planet in the southern hemisphere. Io, one of Jupiter's four largest satellites, is visible silhouetted against the planet to the upper left of the long-lived storm. By 10.30 p.m., the moon's shadow is projected on the cloud tops. An hour later, the spot is disappearing around the west edge of the planet as Io is again visible against the dark velvet of the sky. As Io revolves around the planet, the shadow leaves the cloud deck nearly 35 minutes into the new calendar day in the central time zone. The lunar orb sets nearly 6 hours before the sun and Jupiter follows 90 minutes later. Thank you for listening. Please read the articles at whenthecurveslineup.com.